Next we're going to soften lines, soften shadows, and fix up a few patches using the clone tool. And I'll quickly go through the areas that, I, that mostly need the work. So command space by click and drag. And straight away I can see a few little patches which need a bit of work. And they would be, the shadows just underneath the eyes here just need to be softened just the tiniest amount. Also, there's a little dark shadow underneath the arm here, and these lines need a little bit of work. Also, there's a little bit of, there's a little patch of white here, which obviously doesn't normally get the sun, so that needs to be just blended in so it's a little, so it matches the colour of the rest of the arm. And just above the cleavage here, there's a little shadow here which needs to be softened, because it's not on the other side, so it's looking a little asymmetrical. Scrolling on through, underneath the arm here, there's a line I mentioned in the previous tutorial, which is a little abrupt, it finishes a little sharply, and therefore it's a bit distracting, and it sort of forks off a little bit as well. Continuing on, and nothing really needs to be fixed on the legs here. Probably a few little spots here and there, but nothing, nothing too bad. However, on the feet, there are a couple of little lines here, these bones which are jutting out on Rebecca's left foot. They could be softened a little bit. And a few little other areas, such as this little patch of color here, this shadow underneath the ankle, and there's another little bone right here. So we just need to soften those little patches because my eye is being drawn towards it and we don't need that so we can get rid of them. Command zero to fit to window. And we'll start off with Rebecca's eyes. Command space by click and drag. Zoom in a little bit closer. And to get onto the stamp tool, we just hit the S key, which takes us to this submenu. Clone stamp tool and the pattern stamp tool. So what we need is the clone stamp tool. Now I like to make sure that I have this option ticked so that it's sampling the current and below layer. And the other integral part of the clone tool is its opacity, which is right here. Now to control the opacity of a brush, whether it be the clone tool or the brush tool, one handy thing to remember is that you're always changing the opacity of your brushes. So rather than going up to the opacity all the time and trying to scroll through and find the opacity that you're after or typing it in, you know, 30%, the best thing to remember is that when you want to change the opacity of a brush, if you want 30%, you just hit the 3 key. If you want, say, 70%, you just hit 7. If you want 90%, you just hit 9, and so on. However, if you want 100%, you just hit double zero, like that, and it changes your opacity to 100%. Now, I do a lot of work with the clone tool, and more often than not, I quite often use it at 30%. So I just hit the 3 key to take me to a 30% opacity. And temporarily, I like to work on a separate layer, just so that if I go a little bit overboard and do a little too much cloning, I can always bring it back a little bit. So I'm just going to hit my new layer icon to create a new layer. I don't need to rename this layer at this stage because once I finish with it, I'm just gonna merge it in with my retouch layer. So I need to increase my brush size with the right bracket key to about there. And the way the stamp tool works, of course, is you option click on the area that you want to sample, such as just below the eye here. So I'm holding down the option key until you get this little target symbol, target icon. Click on the area that you want to sample, and then brush that gently over the area that you want to soften. So I'm just running this brush a couple of times, sampling the area just underneath it to soften those shadows underneath the eyes. Now I've already just then run the brush underneath the eye only two times. And if I switch off this new layer, and we can see that that shadow is already markedly reduced. And so I'll quickly do it the same to the other side. I'll option click just underneath the shadow, right there, and brush it over a couple of times over that shadow. Maybe one more time. Before and after. And that looks pretty good. However, there's a little dark patch here. So I might just reduce my brush a little bit, sample the light patch to the left of it, and just run it over there. Now the thing to remember when you're softening the shadows underneath people's eyes, and I've seen this more often than I wish, and that is some retouches go a little overboard in reducing the shadows underneath people's eyes, particularly in portrait retouching. And what happens is, yes, they get rid of the shadow, but as a result, they end up removing a large part of the expression of the person's face. So it looks as if they're only smiling with their mouth and not with their eyes. So we don't want to go too overboard. Now moving along, there are a couple of little patches of the on the elbow here which we can probably soften a little bit as well. So I'm just going to option click onto a lighter patch here and run it over these dark patches. Just so that they're not quite so prominent. That little patch there. Before and after. Yeah, that's an improvement. 
Now we come to underneath the arm here. We need to soften the shadow down here. So I'll just sample a little bit above to the right here to this lighter patch. Option click and just run it over that shadow. And this white patch here, which we want to get rid of, I guess. So we'll just sample this slightly darker patch of skin right here. Option click and then run it a couple of times over that white patch. Once again, option click. Reduce my brush size a little bit. Now the thing to remember with the stamp tool is that because it's sampling another area is that you don't want to say have your brush opacity at say 30% and then run over the new area more than a few times because ultimately if you do that you end up copying the the original layer a little too heavily and instead of improving the new spot that you've been working on you end up just copying the old sample. Now I'm just going to soften this very harsh line here so I'm option click to the right of it and just Run the brush a couple of times over that line just so it's not quite so obvious. I don't want to remove it because it's an integral part of the anatomy and it might look a bit unreal if I do remove it. This line a little bit to the left here is, um, is also a little harsh so just to this darker patch to the left of it, option click and run the brush over before and after and that's an improvement. However, I want to get rid of these lines and I'll come back to them at the end, once I've finished softening all the other areas. Scrolling over to the cleavage here, increase my brush size with the right bracket key. I'll sample the area just above it and run it over once, twice, maybe a third time. Before, after. Definitely an improvement. Command minus just to pan out a little bit so I can get an overall look. Yes, that as I thought, this little white patch here is a little too stark. So what we'll do is Option click just above it and I'll just run over this white patch once, twice, just to soften that white patch. And if I zoom in, do a before and after, I can see that very subtly I did end up brushing over the bikini top. And that's the reason why I've got this on a separate layer is because we can just erase some of that. So I'll get onto my eraser tool by hitting the E key. Now it's currently set it at 100% which is good and making sure I'm on the right layer of course. I'm going to just brush over that, the edge of that bikini, getting rid of that area that I've just brushed onto it. Before and after. And that will do. Command minus. Next is the shoulder here. And I want to soften this line here straight off the bat. So I'm going to just increase my brush size a little bit. I might zoom in a little closer. Get back onto my stamp tool with the S key. Option click to the right of this line and just gently brush over that line there to be where it's finishing really abruptly. And we just want to soften the, the finish of that line. Command minus. Now there's a white patch right here. I need to soften that a little bit as well. It's a bit abrupt, it's a bit it's standing out a little bit, so I'm going to increase my brush, sample a darker patch over here, option click, and just run the brush over that white patch before and after. It's an improvement. The white patch up here, option click, it's gone. Now, I've just noticed one thing which we probably need to assist a little bit, is that these collarbones here are a little stark. So I'm going to soften them as well. I'll option click on a patch underneath them and just run over the collarbones once, twice, other side, option click, once, twice, and maybe just this muscle of the neck here, option click, maybe just the once, before and after. It's always a good, good idea to have a quick check of your before and after, just to make sure that you haven't gone too far or that you are actually making a difference. Continuing on, nothing really needs to work on the tummy except for maybe this little dark patch right there. Option click, there we are, down to the legs. Now there are just a few little subtle areas we can fix here. There's a dark patch right here, a patch right here, and there's a little patch on the leg here and down here. Option click. Sweep over those areas, option click, 
option click Now I can see a vein running through the calf here, but we won't deal with that with this clone tool. We can, but I think we'll use one of the skin smoothing techniques to get rid of that. Down to the feet, and as I mentioned before, we just need to soften the bones of the feet here, particularly on Rebecca's left foot right here. So I'll option click to the lighter patch, or no, I'll, I'll option click just above it because this is probably a little too light. So I'll option click just above it and run the brush just over those bones underneath the ankle of her right foot little red patch on the ankle there and this prominent bone just that's running in the middle of Rebecca's right foot so I'll just option click to the left of that and run over run over that as well and that's so those bones aren't quite as prominent so command zero to fit to window now I just need to merge this, la this layer down that we've been working on with the clone tool. Command E to merge that layer down. So now it's become part of my retouch layer. And that's how you can soften the lines and wrinkles without necessarily removing them on someone's body using the clone tool.